Hello YouTube. Today we're playing 10 minutes till dawn. It's a roguelike shooter game. It's very fun. And well, you will probably see me playing this a few times in the coming days. Um, the full version is not out yet. So you have to do it with those with this demo. Um, if the gameplay is interesting to you, you can get it on Steam. And well, let's just really start. You get in this game a currency each round you play. I've just done a quick run to see how the gameplay is for myself. Um, well. There are four characters you can unlock in this version, same with Rapid Member. And aside from that, similar to Vampire Survivors, you level up when you get enough experience and you can choose perks at that moment. Unlike some of uh, Vampire Survivors, the perks don't have really levels, but there are perks that well, our successors of the perks you already picked. So, let's see what we can get. And this game gets quite annoying pretty soon. And I don't trust the trees. Those red eyes seem menacing. Okay, right. I've forgotten about um, each character can has special abilities, so to say. The starting character can reroll his selection of items. Hmm. I'm gonna reroll. Uh, and the reroll was almost nothing change. Okay, I'll take the power shot. Would be nice if I could kill enemies with one shot, but ain't gonna happen. While shooting, as if probably realized you are slower, which is very annoying. If hitboxes of enemies overlay, you can't hit two enemies at once. Hmm. I'll take the ghost friend. Those extra bullets sound nice. Okay, the exploding enemies are very helpful when you have gigantic uh, horde of enemies at one place. A little bit of uh, avoiding enemies so that I can pick up my experience. Just leveling up is probably very well helpful. Um, attack speed, damage, attack speed, and shoots where I aim. What is the final? I want a vengeful ghost, definitely. Uh, but I'm gonna take the light weaponry since that's also a source of damage. I had that in the one I tried earlier, and well, it's quite useful. And I've got a lot of experience lying around. I'll choose and think simply so I can, well, uh, focus fire in a certain area. Experience. 
Okay, that was a bad idea. A very bad idea. Great. Ah. Uh, that was really stupid of me. And I hope for the vengeful ghost, but I'm gonna take the shield. Mainly because I don't have health anymore. So the shield could come in handy. Stupid movement speed decrease while shooting. Gonna pick up some experience. Focus on level up. Definitely taking ghost. Increasing the bullet count of him is gonna be great. No, I just need to attack speed up big boy. Oh okay. Those upgrades are uh, hit quite a bit. I believe that's the first boss enemy. Oh, definitely taking the energetic brand. Having more shots from the ghost is gonna help quite a bit. He deals more damage than I, that's for sure. I should stop shooting more times. Um, sharper. Wait, does this count for my ghost too? Since he is a summon. Let's see. Oh my god, it counts. My ghost is overpowered now. At least until the normal enemies increase in power. Or well, maybe they won't, since it's 10 minutes till dawn. So I probably just have to survive 10 minutes. Let's make my shield better, just to increase my movement speed. And let me get all this experience. And the chest. What does the chest do? Okay, the chest is basically a free random upgrade. Since burning bullets is not bad, or at least it doesn't hurt me, I'll take it. Fire starter. Okay, interesting. I'll take the big shot. Increased damage is great. Can I kill the trees? That's something I'd like to know. Okay. A dashing boss. So I just have to play a raid. Okay, how did that not destroy my shield? Very nice right now. But I'm gonna reroll the upgrades. Double projectors would be nice. Hmm. I'll take the side. 
mainly because it does damage around me and seemingly it's quite easily able to kill most things at this point. A pentagram? Interesting. Okay, definitely taking the tome of summoning, because my summons are definitely doing main work right now. Okay, finally that uh, area is gone. And I'm gonna die. Maybe. Enemies are stronger now. And I'm dead. Well, at least that was an interesting first round. And I've unlocked uh, got quite a bit of cash. Oh. Hmm. Summon a shadow clone. Not that interested. Fire. Hmm. I'll stay with Shanna. But probably change the weapon up. Let's go with the shotgun. And play the second round, and that should be it for this episode. Can't play 50 rounds per with you. That would be a little bit much. Especially considering soon are holidays and I want to visit my parents. So, having a little backlog could be nice with this game. But it's nice with this weapon since I can shoot only twice. I'll get well the movement speed decrease isn't as annoying. And unlike with the pistol I'm pretty easily able to destroy all the enemies. What can freeze do? Mm, they lose maximum HP. Shoot ice shards. Mm, not the biggest fan of what I read. That could be better than. Well, it says, but no. Sure, give me high fire rate. I want to instantly have my gun empty. That sounds fun. And I'll try to keep my experience in one area. Unlike last time where <laughs> Most of the experience stayed on the ground, probably. More ammo, fire rate, and bullet speed. Sure, that sounds nice. lost all my health at the beginning. That's also quite nice. Just make my way. Um, hmm. One more projectile, more spread. Not the best thing. Quick hands. Faster reload. Splinter and big shot. I'll take the big shot. I can regain the shoot speed, but having some more damage is gonna be nice against bosses. 
against these common enemies, I'm pretty sure I won't have problems right now. Have I level up? Yes. Yes, thing is amazing. Almost any game. Another level up. Bullet bouncing. Doesn't sound great. Siege could be good. But I don't want to try it. It's also not something I really want. Um, I'll take my dagger, please. That is quite a reliable partner. Uh, oh. I will mage. Could be nice. Fusilate should be quite good with this weapon. Sure, it decreases the total damage, but. My weapon is more focused on bullet amount, so... And as one can see, it's going quite swimmingly. Um, but still, I'd like to get some damage back. Or maybe I should take the ghost. When I get the chance. Splinter. Don't really want anything of those. Um hmm. Split fire doesn't seem too great, but better option than pan fire. Bullet in my bag is helpful. And that was quite the best boss kill. And what do I get from it? Fanfire. Okay, I'll take it since it's the free up. 25 less damage. Okay, this only has. This doesn't have any downside, so it's not a problem that I took it. Yeah, I'm shooting quite a bit right now. I. I quite like this projectile amount. Um, sure, let's take the rubber bullets just to see how they work. That's not as if I have a real end game right now. Mm. 
Bouncing bullets aren't that amazing. I've liked my piercing bullets much more. But nothing I can do about that anymore. Is cool. Being able to stand in the point and just shoot. Few uh, much enemies. And this guy is quite the problem for me. And I'm dead. Nothing I can do about that. I have to say the shotgun is probably going to be my favorite, unless the crossbow is any good. The flame cannon, hmm. I don't believe burn is too good in this game, at least right now. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye!